Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about a fluorescent light ballast up there. Okay, this is what I mean. This is a four foot, two bulb fluorescent light. And the, the bulbs are pretty new, but they're not working. They worked a couple of times, but most of the time, uh, it just, when I flip on the switch, it just doesn't turn on. So I know that the ballast needs to be replaced, and I've done it before. This light, uh, I installed about 20 years ago, and the ballast is going bad. So we're going to do that today. All right, guys, so you see, I have one, two, three, four, and the fifth is not turning on. So if I turn off the switch and turn it on again, it's not turning on. And I noticed there's another one now that's starting to uh, malfunction. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this today. But before I do, I'm going to have to move the Impala back so I can put a ladder here and get up there. So I already put the truck outside. Now it's the Impala's turn. Okay, I take that back. I'm not going to move the car. The brakes are locked. I haven't moved it in 25 years and somehow the brakes locked in place. So I'm just going to get a ladder and start working. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cover off now. I'm going to pull it from each side. All right, so this is what it looks like inside. So this is the ballast. This is what I'm going to have to replace. And but before that, I like to, yeah, take it, take the entire assembly off. Put it on the bench and work and work with it from there. So I need to take one, two, three, three screws. Okay, I'm almost done. I just need to take this one last screw. But before I do, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this so now what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna cap the black wire with this now normally you want to shut the electricity off before you work on your electrical uh, wires but uh, in my case I'm not gonna do it I can I've worked on these before and uh, it's a lot easier if I just remove these caps all right, so here's the last one, white wire. I'm gonna put a cap on it. And unscrew the ground, take the last screw and pull the assembly out. That's how you do it. All right guys, so this is the old ballast that I need to take. And I'm also gonna take these four lamp holders off from the corners. I always like to replace the lamp holders as well. This is the new ballast. This cost me about 20 bucks at the local hardware store. And these are the lamp holders that I'm gonna put right here on each corner. Always replace them. Now make sure that your ballast is compatible with what you have. So I bought a, a ballast for T12 lamps. So always check the model of your old ballast and with that information, you'll be able to select the new one. I, I saw a lot of T12s and T8 ballasts, but mine, this particular one is a T12. So yeah, it's gonna fit just nice. So 
So there you go. Ballast out with the old lamp holders. These two as well. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this in the trash. All right, so I'm gonna take the old one and go ahead and install it. Now I do have to say that the new ballast is way lighter than before. The old ones were bulky and heavy, but this one's super light. All right guys, so you see this whole bunch of wires? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the old one and I'm gonna connect it exactly as it was before. So I'm gonna take the two yellow wires and I'm gonna connect one each to these lamp holders. And then I'm gonna connect a couple of white wires in between. And I'm gonna connect the two blue wires to one lamp holder here and the two red wires to the other lamp holder here. The exact same way as the, as the old one. All right, so this is the old one, you see that? This is the, white, uh, the yellow wires from the ballast and these two are interconnected. So I want to replicate that the exact same way on the new one. So I cut two little pieces of wire here and I have the yellows ready to be installed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert this into this lamp controller or lamp holder there we go, all the way in. And then from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and insert it into the old, into the new one, the second one. There we go, it's not going anywhere. And then I'm gonna take the second side here. There we go, I'm gonna insert it there into the second side here. There we go, it's not gonna go anywhere. Now, I'm ready to insert the, the yellow wires. All right guys, so yeah, in this case, just make sure both yellow wires go into one, one of the holders. There we go. There we go nice and tight now I was gonna put it on this one one here and one there but now both yellow wires must go into one and then jump it to the second one and now what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna go ahead and insert the, the holders and like so easy and there we go this side is done all right, so here, two blue ones are gonna go into here. One on each side. There we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and insert it. And Take the red wires and insert them one each into each side, just like I did with the blue one. And the yellow one is, of course. Now I have to neatly wrap up the wires. Make them look pretty. Because there's going to be a cover that's going to go above this or right over this. There we go, like so. All right guys, so here it is, and I'm ready to install it. Okay, so the hard part is done. Uh, installing it back on the ceiling. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna install the ground and then I'm gonna install the black wire and the white wire. Black to black and white to white. And the first one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna 
we'll do the black wire. There's one, and there's two. All right, so the only thing left to do is put the cover. All right, now for the moment of truth, I'm gonna go ahead and install the light bulbs. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now for the next one. There we go. Working. Let me turn off and on. Let me turn on and off the switch. So, yeah. Everything's working fine, as it should. All right. All right, guys, so there it is. It's working just fine. Uh, the ballast and the lamp holders is something so simple that any homeowner can do. So if you have one that's uh, malfunctioning, go ahead and replace it. So at this point, I'm gonna tell you to go ahead and subscribe and like this video. And I'll see you on the next one.